Although his presidency began with one of the highest approval ratings in history, George W. Bush was a controversial leader whose time in office was marred with war, debt, and economic recession. George W. Bush is either the most overrated or underrated president in history, and it's kind of a mystery to figure out which one it is. Born in New Haven, Connecticut on July 6, 1946, George W. Bush was the oldest child of George H. W. Bush, the 41st President of the United States. Bush was a third generation wealthy political family. His father, of course, was president, his grandfather was a senator, and he grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth. He was a party animal in college. He kind of ducked and weaved when it came to the Vietnam War, serving in the National Guard and he was someone with an alcohol problem. After earning an MBA from Harvard in 1975, Bush became a successful businessman and later defeated a long-term incumbent Democrat to become the governor of Texas in 1994. Leanne Riches was the first woman elected governor in Texas and she was popular and I think her re-election was assumed, but George W. Bush went on to win that race and it put him in position to enter the, the presidential race five years later. After declaring his run for the presidency, Bush rivaled Al Gore in a highly contested election in 2000 that ended with the Supreme Court declaring Bush the 43rd president of the United States. While George W. Bush did become president in 2000, we should remember that it was through one of the most controversial elections in U.S. history. It was the first time since 1888 that the popular vote and the electoral college vote did not match. Eight months after his election, terrorists attacked the United States on September 11th, causing Bush to respond with the war on terror in the Middle East. During his presidency, George Bush helped to lead the country through one of our darkest times, which was 9-11. However, George Bush will forever go down in history as the man who took this country to war, and it was a war over weapons of mass destruction, but no weapons of mass destruction were ever found. Although he won re-election in 2004, Bush's favorability rating fell due to high unemployment rates, the subprime mortgage crisis, a multi-trillion dollar budget deficit, and his response to Hurricane Katrina. George W. Bush left office in January 2009, 